I'm at the Old Town Square in Tomar, Portugal with my escort of Templar Knights because this is the beginning of the Templar Festival. It's so amazing to be here and just enjoy all the beautiful things that are going on in this city. I want to talk to you today about connecting to your sacred higher self, channeling, getting the information that you would like to receive. Now, many, many people tell me, I just can't seem to get it, Peter. I work so hard and nothing comes through. Why am I not having these experiences? And the answer most simply is, you are, you're just not allowing them to happen. You see, we all have intuition. We just don't pay attention to it. Sometimes it's like you get a feeling like you want to call somebody and the phone rings and they call you. That's your intuition telling you, hey, we're in contact. And then other people say, I see these numbers all the time. I see 11, 11 all around me. What does it mean? What does it mean? So here's the problem. Instead of saying, oh, I'm getting messages from spirit. They're telling me 11, 11. Hello, it's a wake up call. It's the doorbell pushing. People will sit there and say, oh, what does it mean? I don't know what it means. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to take a 5D experience and force it down into a 3D mold. And because you do that, you don't really understand and keep your connections open. The understanding separates you from what the message is and how you can best receive it. What would be better is to take the experience that you're having and instead of cramming it into 3D, expand yourself into 5D with it. The simple thing is to just acknowledge that you're having an unexplained experience and then say, thank you, more please. That's always how it works. Thank you, more please. And then that allows. You see, if you don't allow these little nudges from spirit, these intuitions, this idea that, oh, they are trying to reach me and they're doing it in ways my brain can process. If you don't accept that that's what's going on, they're not gonna give you any more. So you have to allow, allow, allow. And it starts by just stopping the explanations. I gotta put it in a box. I don't know what it means. I don't understand. Of course you don't, because what you're trying to do is explain a 5D phenomena in 3D. You just can't. You have to accept that it is a 5D phenomena and welcome it in. Welcome it. Oh, I'm getting a talisman. I'm getting a token. I found a penny on the street. I see 1111 on the clock. I got the intuition that I should call somebody and they were just getting ready to call me. This is how it works. The more you allow it, the more you're going to experience it. And of course, if you watch the two previous videos before this one, you're gonna see that I keep talking about clearing, clearing, clearing. The more you clear your charges, the more open you are to receive, the more you're going to have those experiences that you're trying to get, okay? Part of what's blocking you is not being open, which are those densities you're holding. So if you really, really want to do this, you're going to do your clearing work. And then when the beautiful things come to you, you're going to go, thank you more, please. I don't understand it yet, but I know the channels are opening. This is beautiful. Keep it coming, spirit. The more you allow, the more you'll receive. And then you'll start to understand because you won't be trying to force it into 3D meaning anymore. You'll sense the 5D meaning. Many people ask me how I channel. And the truth is, I don't see words or get words. I don't see pictures or any of that. I get an energy sense. I sense things, okay? And then I practice putting those things into words after I built up enough trust that Zuri was trying to communicate with me. And then as I speak the words, I feel is the energy nudging me one way or the other? If it's nudging me back towards what I'm receiving, I know I'm speaking the correct words. Now this is always gonna look and sound like me, but that's how it works because you're the vessel. You're the one in 3D. Of course it's gonna look and sound like you. And you, I keep thinking, well, this is just stuff I'm making up. It is. I'm making it up because I have to process those energy inputs. I am making that up. So I'll be working with clients and I'll just think, I'm just saying stuff I'd normally say. And then they'll go, oh, Peter, that's so right on. That's exactly what was going on with me. And I get enough confirmation to where I finally believe it. You need to start giving yourself that confirmation so that you can believe you're in connection. Even though you don't see words or hear words or get visions, you get 
little things around you and you just keep welcoming them in. That's it for today. Stay blessed, stay connected with your source, keep welcoming it in. Bye.